Hello everybody and welcome to another Jarrison Time informational video. In the following video, we'll be looking at importing clockings manually from the hardware. Once we've logged into the software, it is important to ensure that the JT engine service is running before proceeding with any further steps. Next, we will navigate to the icon bar and click on the import clockings icon, opening the import clockings window. To import clockings, we need to click on the import button on this window. Once we've done that, the system will notify us that the import request has successfully been sent to the engine. The system will take some time to process and import the clockings. The duration of this process may vary depending on the number of clockings to import and the number of devices to import from. If we want to confirm whether the process has been completed, we can close the import clocking window, head over to the menu bar to click on access, then show queue, and the queued entries window will open. Here we can check for the entry or entries depending on the number of devices by looking for any entry named get logs under the action column. If the entry or entries are still displaying, it means that the system has not completed the action yet. In that case, we need to give the system some more time to process. Once the system has completed the import, we will no longer see the entry or entries in the queue. Now let's click on the close button and go on working with Jarrison time. That will be all for the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.